Liquid sugar for 9 days. No desserts, no fruit juices and no added sugar. Not even the so-called healthy ones that is hiding in those cereals and sauces. I have been guiding my patients for sugar detoxes for years. But doing it by myself, as a doctor, gave me a whole new understanding. The cravings, the brain fog, the energy crashes and the surprising rebound at the end. Trust me, it was a roller coaster ride. In this video, I'm trying to break down exactly what I experienced over the past 9 days. While I do this, I'll try to explain why I experienced all this by trying to understand the changes that was happening in my body while I cut the sugar off. So, this video is more or less an experience sharing, at the same time trying to understand why I experienced all those. Towards the end of this video, I'll give you special 5 tips that you can probably use to manage the ups and downs that you would experience if you plan to cut your sugar off. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Day 1 to day 3. I would call this the withdrawal and shock phase. Let me be very honest with you. The first 3 days were the worst. Because the body suddenly gets into a shock state of not getting those regular dopamine boosts that used to happen from these sugar spikes. I felt sluggish, irritable and emotionally flat. My brain felt like missing something. I was constantly looking for snacks even though I wasn't really hungry. That's because sugar isn't just a food. It acts like a drug in your brain. It spikes dopamine, the feel-good hormone, and when it goes missing, your brain starts to panic. A 2013 study that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition stated that high sugar food would activate the same reward centers in your brain as any other addictives would do like cocaine. So inside your body, your blood sugar levels starts to stabilize. The insulin level will drop. You will feel fatigued because your body is still looking for its favorite energy shortcut, the glucose spikes. While I was going through this, I suddenly remembered a phenomena that I learned in my natural medicine school. It's called as healing crisis. Healing crisis is the temporary worsening of symptoms when your body is detoxifying and recalibrating during the healing process. So what I experienced in the first three days, the headache, the irritability and the strange fogginess, this was basically the healing crisis that was going on in my body. Have you ever tried cutting sugar? And what were your experiences in the first three days? Let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious to know if your experiences were similar to that of mine. Day 4 to day 6. I would call this the mental and metabolic reset. By day 4, the fog started to clear. I remember waking up with more focus and lesser cravings. My energy started spreading out more evenly throughout the day. No more 3 pm slump or post lunch crashes. I even noticed that my digestion was getting better. Less bloating, less discomfort. So what would be happening inside your body from day 4 to day 6 of your sugar cut? Your liver will start to produce more stable glucose through the process called as gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis is the process through which your body is making sugar through the non-sugar substances like protein and fat, especially when you are not eating enough carbohydrate. Aha, it's like your body saying, no sugar, no problem. I make some. Also in this phase, your body will start to tap into your fat stores more efficiently. It is also found that the cortisol level in the body will start to stabilize. Cortisol is the stress hormone. Now you might be thinking, what is the connection between a stress hormone and a sugar? The connection goes like this. Whenever you are eating a lot of sugar, the body pushes pancreas to produce insulin. This insulin will reduce the blood sugar level in your body. When your blood sugar level in the body drops, it stresses the body to produce use more cortisol to balance the sugar level. So, by cutting sugar, you are also cutting those unexpected sugar spikes leading to a better cortisol balance in the body. Another big change that I noticed was on my sleep. I found myself to be sleeping deeper and longer. I was waking up much fresher than I used to. Sugar before bed raises nighttime cortisol, disturbing melatonin and REM sleep. Without it, I started waking up actually refreshed. If you are interested to learn more about sleep, I have already done a video in which I have debunked common 6 sleep myths. So if you're interested, go check that out here. Now, from day 7 to day 9, I would call this phase as outer glow and inner calm. This is when things got visible. I started noticing that my skin became more clearer with a subtle glow. And here, I felt like my hunger signals were more honest. I was eating when I was really hungry, not bored or anxious. And emotionally, I felt more calm and centered, not weird or reactive. My taste changed too. A simple apple incredibly started to feel extremely good. 
why this happened? Because when you are cutting sugar, your taste buds go on to a reset. Your gut microbiome resets too, from a sugar-loving bacteria to a more balanced ones. In the previous video, we have discussed about acid reflex. If you are interested to know more about acid reflex, go check that video out here. The point I'm trying to make here is, the betterment of your gut microbiome that comes with cutting sugar not only benefits your acid reflex, but also all the other gut-related issues. A 2020 paper that was published in Nutrients stated that high sugar intake increased the chances of systemic inflammation worsening skin conditions such as acne and eczema. So by day 9, I wasn't missing sugar at all. I was actually enjoying the freedom from it. But here is the real purpose. You don't really need to swear off sugar forever. It is not realistic for most of the people and it is not really necessary as well. But what this 9-day break does is a reset. It resets your cravings, blood sugar rhythms, dopamine response, gut bacteria and your taste buds. So the real problem is in the natural sugar that is found in any fruit juice, but the artificial sugar. This 9 days detox experience gave me clarity, not only in my mind, but also in my food awareness. Now, as I promised you in the introduction of the video, let me give you the five tips that would help you to better manage the ups and downs if you are planning for a nine days sugar cut. The first one is to add protein into your every meal. This will help you to balance your hunger and reduces sugar cravings. The second one is cinnamon tea. Cinnamon tea will help to stabilize your blood sugar naturally. The third one is neem or bitter herbs. Neem or bitter herbs helps to reduce cravings and support liver detox. The fourth one is to stay well hydrated. Dehydration can mimic sugar cravings. So make sure you drink plenty of water. And the last one is to sleep more than seven hours a day. Sleeping less can lead to more sugar cravings the next day. So make sure you sleep enough to manage your sugar cravings. As a doctor, I have seen sugar detox working very well for my patients. But as a person actually experiencing this withdrawal, mood shifts, and then the energy lift, this actually gave me a new level of empathy. I started to see sugar for what it is, a temporary comfort with long-term costs. And you realize you don't really need it the way you thought you did. So would I recommend this 9-day sugar break? 100% yes. Even if you don't do it perfectly, even if you sleep once, what matters is the awareness and how good it feels to take back the control. If you are planning to give it a try, let me know in the comment section. I will reply and cheer you on. And if you want to know more about what to eat for these 9 days, or if you want to know how to manage cravings naturally, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make a separate video on that. So leave the video a like if that was helpful and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. This is Dr. Thompson and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.